The following video contains spoilers for the final battle in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. If you haven't already played Breath of the Wild, what the heck is wrong with you? I beat Tears of the Kingdom. Well, I didn't do every single sort of thing, like the side quests and stuff, but mainly the main gist of it, I got it. I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed this game. This game was such a fun ride, such a fun treat. I would definitely recommend this game to anyone if they have or haven't already played Breath of the Wild. But there was one thing going through this game that I was really, really hoping for. It's such a minor detail that you wouldn't even second guess it or you think, Obviously that's gonna happen. But I was very much looking forward to this when the final battle between Ganondorf was about to commence. So looking at Breath of the Wild, when you get to the final boss, you see Calamity Ganon there. And then with all the champions and their divine beasts, they all fire a Kamehameha. All four of them fire a four laser beam attack and whatnot, and basically cuts Calamity Ganon's HP to half if you haven't defeated all four Divine Beast or Blight Ganons, per se. So as Calamity Ganon is getting mollywopped by these lasers, he then gets back up, kind of shakes it off, and does like this big roar. Then you get to Tears of the Kingdom, where Link goes to the deepest part, deepest parts beneath Hyrule Castle, and then you have all the sages that come to his rescue and you fight a bunch of baddies and whatnot. Then Link goes on ahead and you see Ganondorf, and his zombified skeleton version. But then he gets his act together, and we see his glorious, handsome face. And then, as Ganondorf draws his sword, and that dark, gloomy music kicks in, then the screen goes black. But what happens next is what I was really hoping for. And the birth of his new world. That scene in particular was awesome. The first time that I saw that in Breath of the Wild where Link just takes out the Master Sword and it then just starts to glow. That scene was so, so epic and it just felt so empowering to wield the Master Sword in this final battle. So seeing that very same scene but at a different angle against Ganondorf was very much satisfying. Like I said, there was so, like I said, there's so many things in Tears of the Kingdom that I absolutely adored, but that scene in particular is what I, I... I don't care, I don't care. That is my number one favorite thing about Tears of the Kingdom. It's such a minor little detail, but I like it. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! wait.